The tap water that you're drinking has many things in it that really aren't that healthy for you. And drunk over long term can cause health issues in some people that you may even not be aware of. And so in this video, I want to show you what exactly is in your water, some of the main issues with it. And I'm gonna go through how you can filter these things out. So I'm gonna show you what I have chosen recently, what I've bought, the filtration system that I bought, that is not only effective, but also super easy to use. Let's begin. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Stephen and thank you so much for joining. This, this video, we're gonna be talking about water. This is something that I've been researching for quite a while now, um, mainly because the, when I moved to this general area where I currently am in, in Oxfordshire in the UK, I found that the water didn't taste that great. So initially I bought a filter just to get it tasting better. But now more recently when I started to research what exactly is in the water that could cause issues with their health, I found out that actually the filter that I had really wasn't doing the job that I needed it to do for the sake of my health. And actually there were better options out there and actually long-term cheaper options as well. So what I want to do is start with what is actually in the water. Now there's loads of things in the water. I'm just going to go through some of the top things that can cause some issues with your health. And the first thing to mention, of course, is that the water companies have to clean the water and be able to get it to you clean. And therefore, they have to add in disinfectants. Otherwise, it's going to get to you all dirty and with bacteria, and that can cause infection. There was a case quite recently, a few weeks ago in the UK, where there was some contamination in the water in a particular area of the UK, and many people got ill because of this. So this is an example of why it does need to be treated. So I fully understand why they do have to add some of these disinfectants in it. However, when it gets to our house, we do ideally need to filter it out if we do want the best quality water possible. So the main disinfectant that they use is a common chemical, which is chlorine. Chlorine has an amazing ability at killing the bacteria in whatever it touches. So that's going to be great when you're trying to get rid of the bacteria in your water, but it's not going to be ideal if that chlorine is going to enter your body. Now that chlorine is at a small level, so it doesn't cause any instant irritation or, or issues. However, if you're consuming this water over a long period of time, this could cause some issues in your body. Now, one of the most obvious areas where it may cause disruption is going to be your gut because your gut contains anywhere between two to five pounds of bacteria. This is good bacteria that you need for the proper health and function of your your gut and your gut is calling the foundation of your health because all the nutrients everything that comes into your body is going to go through it and it's going to nourish your body it's also strong links for, with your gut to your brain so if you're disrupting that through chlorine and the constant exposure of chlorine in your gut this could cause um, a dysfunction in your gut and could even cause things like IBS which quite often people have no idea what is causing that issue and so if you do have any health issues I really um, stick to the end of this video so that you can improve your water and this may improve symptoms like IBS. The other thing about chlorine is that often you can taste it and it doesn't doesn't taste particularly great. So that's one thing that we want to make sure that when we're looking for a filter that it can filter out chlorine. Now the other thing, now the other chemical we really want to make sure is not in there is fluoride. Now there was a time in the 20th century where they were purposely adding in fluoride into our tap water with the idea that this may help with oral health. Now, when I looked at my water, and by the way, you can look at the water analysis, but going to your local water company, they should give you a full analysis of the water that comes in to your area. And when I looked at mine, they say that they don't add in any fluoride. It's just the natural levels that will be in there that will, that will come in your water. But this can, even levels as low as 0.5 milligrams per liter, can cause issues with your thyroid. It has also been shown to cause issues with brain health and even lowering IQ of children that are, con that are exposed to high levels of fluoride as they are growing up. So there are some links with fluoride causing issues to our health, so we want to lower this one 
as much as possible. Now, the third thing that can be contained and often contained in tap water is microplastics. And I think this is becoming more and more um, common in our day to day as we are accumulating more plastics and as more plastics are entering then our water system. In Korea, they did a research on this in 2017, looking at how much microplastic they could detect in their water systems. And they found that there was a mean concentration, so an average concentration of 0.05 pieces per liter of microplastics in the water. So they found this in 24 different treatment plants. So basically they, they're finding microplastics in our water. Surgeons have also found that when operating on patients that in various different tissues around the body, they have identified quite a lot of microplastics in majority of people. So the question of course is what issues does this cause? Well, the main, the, one of the biggest things, and, and I think we are still learning more and more about the effects of microplastics in our bodies, so I think this is not limited to just this. However, one of the biggest issues with microplastics is causing a, an endocrine disruption. So it disrupts your endocrine system, and one of the biggest things there is going to be fertility. So there has been links with microplastics in our body and fertility. But the other thing with microplastics affecting our hormones is that this could affect pretty much anything in our body because we rely on hormones for the proper functioning of our bodies. Now, the other thing with the water is also heavy metals. So a common one is lead and pretty much any heavy metal that you're intaking through the water, if you're getting this to a high enough level, there is a level with every heavy metal where it becomes toxic and then can cause problems. Now, most water, fortunately, this is quite low, but obviously you want this as low as possible. So the question therefore is, is how can we effectively reduce all of these things? Well, for quite a long time, I was using the Brita filter, which is probably the one of the most common uh, filter systems out there, uh, Brita are uh, probably the most popular company out there that produce filters for your water. And I have to say they do a fantastic job in making your water taste so much better. And they certainly do filter out a lot of stuff. So the, basically the way it works is you put a cartridge in the middle here and the water will filter through and it's basically a carbon filter. And the carbon will basically pick out a lot of the particles within the water, which then um, give you more pure water and this is certainly a good filter and it makes it taste better and you're getting a lot of the stuff out that you don't want in there however however what I found with further research was that it doesn't filter out as much as I would like it to so the other types of filters and I'm not going to go in detail but just just so you know what's out there is that you've got the under sink filters so these are the ones that attach directly onto your hose pipe which then go to your cold water outlets so then you uh, you can effectively filter your water directly as it comes out of your tap. You then got uh, these machines. So one of the types of machines that are common is the reverse osmosis machines, which is basically a filter system that uses electricity to pass the water repeatedly over a membrane that filters quite effectively this water. So it's a very effective way of getting rid of a lot of the stuff in the water. And then you've got other machines like distillers. Now these are pretty much going to get rid of everything in the water because it, it basically heats up that water and then takes the steam and then cools it and so it's going to be quite an effective way of filtering however it's going to take quite a lot of energy so i was looking for a filter system that was easy doesn't rely on electricity but it was also effective at filtering out particularly these four things that i just gone through that i believe are going to cause the most issues with our health and so what i ended up going with is one of the under sink filters. This is a filter by Fitz Life. Now I've had no affiliation with them. I did a lot of research on them. There are different companies out there that do it, but there were a couple of things that I really liked about this filter. So one of them is that it's very easy. It literally just attaches under your sink. I did this myself. You don't need a plumber for you to be able to do this. But the other thing is it has like two, two uh, towers and within each tower you have many different levels of filtration. So it's a multi-stage filtration system, which means it's going to be more thorough. And, it, and it, at each level, it's designed to take out a different thing. It's also made of stainless steel. This makes it more durable. It's also limiting the amount of plastic, which is always a good thing. And the other thing is that it's, it's quite cheap to keep it going so with the brita filters you're 
it's more expensive to replace those filters. You have to do that every single month. With the undersink filters, they say to for their filter to replace it every eight months. And the amount of money it costs is somewhere between 30 to 40 pounds every eight months. So this is actually a lot cheaper and a lot easier. You're not having to constantly change your filters every month. But also because it uses water pressure to fire it through this filter, it actually makes it uh, quicker. It doesn't affect the water flow at all, which really surprised me. We don't have a, um, in my kitchen tap, there isn't a high water pressure as it is. So I was a bit worried that it would reduce the, the pressure, but it doesn't do that at all. And it makes a big difference on the taste. So I can tell it's making a really big difference. But I also know because of uh, this filter, it's filtering out more things than the Brita filter. So I can really highly recommend this filter if you would like to buy it. Now there are many others, you have to pick the one that suits you best, but this seemed to fit a lot of the um, check boxes that I was looking for. Now, just as a last note there, I would be wary of bottled water that is in plastic, mainly because of the microplastics that may leak into it. So nowadays I try to reduce any exposure of, of plastic with my water and food. And this is going to be particularly important if you are heating it. So try not to drink water that is coming from a plastic bottle, ideally. Or if you do do this, don't do it too often. If you're buying those big bottles uh, and that's where you're getting your drink, drinking water for your house, I would really think twice about getting it in these plastic bottles if you're drinking a lot of it. Now, if you want to learn more about microplastics, more about what exactly that does to your health, I have actually done a video quite recently that you can just see that will pop up in just a second there. But just before it does, don't forget that as always, you can get 10% off Vivo Barefoot shoes. These are minimalist shoes that I wear every single day. You get 10% off Athenase, which is a superfood specifically formulated for men. It also tastes really, really great in my opinion. You can get 15% off Fussy, which is a natural deodorant that doesn't contain any of the harmful chemicals that the traditional deodorants contain. And you can get a free bag of organic coffee from XL Coffee in the UK. This is an amazing coffee I have every single day. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you, if you want to see more videos like this one. See you next time.